hello guys welcome in this video i'll show you how to escalate privilege using shared object injection in the executables with suid bits enabled let me show you how to do that so i found a bunch of suid bit enabled executable files using this find command if you don't know how to use find i'll just leave the link to the, the video that will teach you how to use find in the description below so after a bunch of enumeration i found out that this suid so is vulnerable to shared object injection let me check it what it does let me show you how i found that this suid so is vulnerable to shared object so i just ran it and check it what it does so it kind of show some progress bar oh, and it just exits automatically so i try just run our debugger s press okay i just ran s press so it will just uh, input this uh, standard error and standard output to Express and just me grab some some lines like open or access so that so I checked if this uh, SUID as SO execute something in our system or it just kind of oh, maybe opened or access some files so I ran it okay it's just trace I mistyped it. STRAC. Okay, let's run it. Okay, found bunch of command that this SOID that's SO runs. This one is just unique than rest of them. So it's open a file in this home user.config directory named libcalc.so. It's a shared object. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a, a vulnerable script or malicious script and place in this directory named as liptcalc.so. So let me do that. Okay, so I created this uh, C C program or C script. So what it does is just it uh, enables uh, set uid uh, it changed the set uid to zero so we use for root user and just execute this slash bin slash bash or bash with preserved uh, permissions so it will just get us give us an escalated bash cell so this is the exploit i will just leave the exploit in the description also it's just pretty basic C code. We we'll easily understand it. There is nothing. It's just import a standard input output and standard library. So this line is just needed for a shared object constructor. And this function will just run best with uh, escalated privilege. Okay, let's save it. Okay, now we are just going to create a directory name config inside home directory so i am in home user okay let me create a dot config okay mkdir dot so i created this dot config directory is this stress or is this uh so yes, you edit mm -hmm this so file I'm just open from this dot config directory and now we are going to create this libcalc.so so we are going to just create that libcalc.so using a malicious c file that i just created and i showed you the code also okay, you can just grab it from the description below so to create a shared object, I'm going to use GCC. GCC test shared test F P I C 
it's for position in uh, independent console so i'm going to out file it in slash home slash user slash dot c u n f i g and s l i b c l c dot s o for that i'm going to use this libcalc.c file which i just created so it's in home user and libcalc.c okay let's check if we can let's make this shared file or not okay now we can let's run that suid that's so file again where was it the user local bin okay let's run it user let's clear the screen first so user local bin id dash s oh, okay let's run it okay now we got a root cell so now we successfully escalated the privilege using shared object executable also so so yeah, this su edit as so is just a example file which was just created to show you that we can just use um, executable like this which just shared we just share the permission or execute files with misconfigured permissions so you can just use other scripts you can enumerate and Let's clear the privilege with this much in this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.